I'll be interviewing my friends and teachers on their personal experiences. I suppose when I was like five or six, it wasn't really common for parents to split up. I think I was about five or six, but I don't really remember that well because obviously I was quite young. Split up when I was 11 years old. Well, I was about five, something like that. Um, I was seven the first time around and then ten the next time. Growing up without a dad was really hard seeing as my parents split up at an age, at a really young age. I couldn't really remember what happened. It didn't really affect me really because I didn't know what was going on. It was like, I didn't really mind, but then like, at school everyone was like, oh that's pretty weird because like, everyone else's parents were still together. But then the second time it happened it was pretty normal. But I think because the reason um, mum and dad split up, it was like, it was harder. I'm like, I, I went there. At first it was quite a shock and um, I think it was quite difficult for my mum to tell me because I was quite young. I was I didn't really understand it and it was quite hard for me like when obviously when I was not with my dad I wanted to see him and it was quite hard for my mum to explain to me why he wasn't there. I think it really affected me in terms of trusting in relationships um, later on like now I like I find it really difficult to trust in relationships. But yeah, growing up, growing up without a, without a dad was difficult. Other people were quite like nice about it, but I think it was hard for me when I was at school to like explain to people why my dad wasn't there, and other people didn't really quite understand how I felt, so it was quite hard for me. Not a lot of my friends had parents that split up either. So it was a bit different for me to go through this and get special treatment from teachers when I myself didn't know what was going on. Other people like do stuff with their mums and dads and stuff. And like, well, because I was so young, I don't think it really bothered me at the time, but as I got older, it did start to bother me. People at school were like quite good to me, like they tried to help me and stuff, but I think it was hard for me to explain to people why my dad wasn't there when my mum and dad weren't together anymore. Um, my grandparents were really good to me though, like we lived with them for a while. My mum and dad split up so they were there for me a lot which really helped. I for one felt isolated from, you know, that aspect of life. I knew that me and my mum and my brothers were moving out and my dad was staying. But it was like hard to go to like speak to your family though because it was like which part of your family yeah. did you go to? It's, it was not really pleasant. The thing is though is that if I was so confused I didn't understand what was going on but some um, my mum had contacted the school and let them know what was going on so I was getting special treatment from teachers and everything. At the time I don't think it affected me at all. I don't think we're educated enough at all. I think um, more people need to know about the consequences of like people's parents splitting up and like divorce and stuff. Uh, it really does affect some people more than others and I don't think that people know about it enough. Growing up without a dad was difficult because most of my friends would talk about going fishing, going shooting and some were like getting taught how to drive by their dad. When I was in my teens it really affected me and I found it really difficult to trust people. Most parents were still together, but obviously now it's changed. But however, now I'm fine, you know, I've learned to live with it. I learned that there is a life other than the one I thought was the best thing to have. And I've managed to pull through and my mom's always been there, supportive, been there when I needed a hand, when I was low, yeah, so I'm really grateful for everything I have. Um, it's sort of start, started to settle, really. There's, there's no, like, there's no help from college, there's not really, fair. there's nothing, like, you don't get, the sounds of it, you don't get taught about it, mm -hmm. or, like, nothing's ever mentioned about it. And she's not given any help, yeah. or, like, anyone's going to talk to us, like, you can go talk to people about other things, it's only now, being 29, that I'm finally starting to trust um, people in a relationship, obviously, because I've been with my partner for quite a long time now. Because it affects people in different ways. Everything's turned out for the best.